Hello cozy friends and welcome to the first of hopefully many Christmas videos. Um, as you can see, I did put up the tree. That is the only thing that's decorated right now though. Literally it's chaos around me. There's six plastic totes sitting in front of me on the other side of the camera. Um, I will be decorating the rest of my house today and I did film it and going to film it. So you guys will see that video, but this video will go live first because I wanted to film this before I could, before I put it out. There are four bags in front of me and some of this stuff doesn't fit in a bag, but this is a very, very long intro. All right guys, there's one more thing that I wanna tell you before we get started with this Target Christmas haul, because um, it will be live in my shop when this video goes up. But I did create this sweatshirt that says pumpkins and evergreens with some evergreen trees and then just a little orange pumpkin. It is embroidered. Let me see if I can show you guys closer. So it is embroidered on the sweatshirt. Don't mind the dog hair. But it is one of my favorite designs. I am obsessed with this. There are two other designs which... If I had the sweatshirts down here with me, then I would show you guys, but I have enough stuff down here with me and I'm actually filming like two to three videos today. So I'm a little scatterbrained, but there are two other sweatshirts available. They will be on my Etsy. I will link my Etsy and those sweatshirts down in the description for you guys. There's one that is a little late to be putting out in the season. It says cozy season and it's got like a maple leaf and then there's colored leaves going down each of the sleeves but I figured I might as well put it out anyways the thing with me is I like create things when I feel creative I don't pressure myself because it's not it's just for fun like yes I make money off of it not much but I do make some and it's just for fun so whenever I feel creative that's when I put stuff out and I thought of this and I was like that's literally me in a nutshell pumpkins and evergreens that's what I'm obsessed with but speaking of evergreens, let's get started with this Target Christmas haul. I have easily spent probably almost $300 in the last two weeks on Christmas. I feel like Target killed it this year with their Christmas decor. Something that I'm trying to incorporate more into our Christmas stuff, because a lot of our Christmas stuff is stuff that I could leave out all year because I do decorate in evergreens everywhere. Our cone, our, our cone. <laughs> Our home kind of has like a modern cabin, not cabin vibe, if that makes sense. Like that's how it stays year round. That's why all the pictures are all like mountains, lakes, evergreens. There's no spring or summer hint in this house ever, <laughs> but they killed it this year. And I feel like their vibe this year was like cozy cabin. That was like probably one of their lines. And then, you know, they have the colored lines and everything. I'll insert some clips right now of me like just shooting some of the products at Target. I don't really do shop with me videos because I wear a mask and it kind of stresses me out to be pushing the card and not be in anybody's way. I explained this in one of my Halloween videos, but I don't really do shop with me's, but I'll definitely do hauls. Okay, so the first two things we are gonna talk about are these pillows they are both from the dollar i guess it's not really a dollar section anymore um bullseye's playground that's what they call it now but they are so cute this one is black and white and this one is white and gray this is the back of this one and then this one's really cute i had to have this one i don't know which side i like better this side or this side and this one's really cute it just has all these cabin rules on it. So I thought that this one was really cute just to leave out. Um, we do decorate in black, white, and gray in like a forest green. Those are our colors that stay in the house year round. So this actually technically could stay out, but we'll see. There's also this side, but I don't really like buffalo plaid. It just is a little too farmhouse for me. But these were each $5.00. Okay, don't know what to grab next. <laughs> okay, so staying on the theme of Bullseye's Playground, I picked up this sign that says, relax, cozy up, 
and unwind cabin sweet cabin I like this because it honestly is so neutral themed that it probably can and will stay up all year round um, I really wanted to incorporate more coziness I know that's hard to believe that I don't have that but I feel like I only really have cozy items when it comes to the holidays but when it comes to all year round stuff it's been a journey but we're slowly getting there you guys will see there's definitely a lot more but this was five dollars from the i keep wanting to say dollar spot but it's not the dollar spot i wish it was still a dollar okay so the next thing that i got from bullseye's playground are these cute trees at least i thought they were cute i don't really know how i feel about them now and i also don't know if they're supposed to stay down like this or if they were like meant to like go up and be like Charlie Brown kind of trees. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like that looks weird too now. If you guys have these, let me know what you guys are going to do with them because they just kind of feel weird to me. I don't really know why I got them, but I have an obsession with evergreens. And then the fact that they have like this wood stand at the bottom, I really liked. These were each $3.00. Okay, so next are these two little plush trees. I feel like I got so lucky with these this year because I went back to Target the following week and there was not a single one in sight, but there's just this green and white kind of, it's like a cozy, um, really plush, soft cotton, but they're just like stuffed trees and I figured these would look so cute like next to each other like this. I don't know. I am obsessed with these though. I'm probably going to say that about everything, but anyways. I thought so these were each $5 and I know that that is kind of a lot, but they were made really nicely. Like you can't see the stitching anywhere. There's no plush coming out of them. And they have these like wood stands on each of them. They're, I mean, they're made really well. So I definitely think that they were worth $5 each. And Honestly, if I could get more, I probably would. So, the next thing I got is this decorative display vessel from up front. It was $5. It's literally just a glass jar. And I got this because I usually do make like this little scene that they have in there with like fake snow or Epsom salt and then a tree. I usually do make one of these but I put them in a flower vase because that's all I had and it just didn't really make sense to me so I feel like this would be better it would look cuter I got this one and then I also got for some reason I don't really know why I got it but I also got this one too I guess I have an obsession with the glass jars too this one was three dollars okay so moving on i got these so now everything else that i'm going to mention is like actual christmas and it's from the christmas section i got these cute white plush fuzzy snowflakes you guys can obviously see the theme that i'm going for comfy cozy everything everywhere <laughs> um but what we've done before i think to best describe the christmas decor that i have right now before all this is more of a winter wonderland i do not do any red i absolutely hate red and i know that's crazy but i literally only like red on my hair and that is it anything else that has red on it was because i couldn't get away with not having it like i have two jack and sally figures and he's dressed up you know as sandy claus and of course his suit is red but that's literally the only red that's in my house so we do more of a winter wonderland, which you guys will see in the tree and everything. Um, but I got these snowflakes because I use, I like these for fillers. I did get some from at home a couple years ago, but the at home is closer to Seattle than it is Portland. So I don't know if I will make the trek for Christmas decor. I try to go for Halloween and every year I'm like disappointed because it's so hard to time it right. And nonetheless drive three hours there and three hours back. So I got these, they're pretty similar and I think they're better quality than the at-home ones that I got, 
but these were each three dollars and i just got three of them moving on so we have these i don't think you guys can see them anywhere if there's it's literally up here yeah you guys can't see it we have these like white poof balls that we use for filler too because it was more of a winter wonderland theme and target has never had them again but they had these this year they are a little off-white and then they do have some you know brown like stripes in some of them but i figured these were close enough we need a little bit more because two years ago i think now two years ago we got so 2019 we got this tree that's behind me and it's a nine foot tree whereas we only had a three a six foot tree before and this tree's a lot bigger so we needed to get more ornaments but they didn't have these so i got these to be close enough to the fillers that we have the only thing that's different is that they are more of a solid white and then they have a leather strap but nobody's gonna be able to tell but me next the next few things that i've oh yeah these were the little snowball things fuzzy snowball things were three dollars the next thing that I got were these cute little deer. I don't know what it is this year, but I have an obsession with deer. I do have some sparkly reindeer from Target a few years back, which I absolutely love. They're silver, but these are like more, you know, natural, which I want to incorporate more into. And then technically these cute little guys can stay out all year, but we just got one lighter brown darker brown and then a gray one they are so cute they were each three dollars as well and i probably oh there's another one right here there's another one i got quite a bit i honestly probably forgot that i already bought them oh, my foot's falling asleep i'm sitting on the floor right now um it looks like i forgot one more we have this cute little white one with gold flecks he's actually really pretty i wish i got more of this one he was three dollars too i only have a few more things left but this is from the this is from the joanna Gaines line that they have in target i wasn't gonna get another stocking but i couldn't pass this one up I'm all about those cozy textures right now. I mean, always, but I feel like I really want to incorporate them more, like I said earlier. So I got this stocking. It is so cute. It's just a really nice knitted, you know, plush knit. And then it does have a lining on the inside, so nothing will catch on it. But this was probably, oh, it actually wasn't that expensive. I honestly thought it was more. Um, I just didn't even look at the price. I was like, oh, I have to have it. This was 15. All right, so moving on to the threshold section of Target. My Target didn't have too much out yet, but I've seen it online and there's definitely more things that I want, but I got these stocking holders for, oh, I almost dropped it. I got these stocking holders for us because I like the wood natural texture on it. And this color isn't too bad as long as it's not black or gold. I don't do any gold it's silver over gold but i wanted to break up some of the black that we have and i feel like this is a nice like bronzy closer to natural tone that'll hopefully mix in with some of the natural tones that i have so i got two of these stocking holders for us and then the last thing that i have is by far one of my favorites it is so cute and so cozy feeling but it is this little tree and it kind of like i need to fluff it up a little bit it's kind of smushed from being in the bag but you guys i didn't know a christmas tree could be this cute it's so cute and fluffy i had to have it this was this was twenty dollars so probably the most expensive thing that i bought was this this was twenty dollars Oh, and I forgot to mention the stocking holders, they were each, they were each 10. And this is, oh, this is the threshold designed with Studio McGee, I guess. I don't know. 
All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this Target Christmas haul. I don't know if I will be able to do another one like this because this was pretty much a lot of items. I don't see myself buying more than like one or two things here or there, hopefully. But I mean, Target doesn't even have like the trees up yet. So I feel like there's still a lot missing. So if I buy more things, I'll do another haul for you guys. Otherwise, I'll put like my one or one or two offs um, on my Instagram stories. If you guys aren't following me there, make sure that you guys follow me there. They always see everything first and a little bit more because it's just easier. I'll put my handle right here for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like these kind of videos and hauls, please let me know and make sure you like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And I think we should play like a fun like little Christmas game before we leave. So I'm going to ask you guys a question and then you guys can leave me your answers down below and we can have a conversation. So my question for you guys is, do you guys have, do you guys do a traditional Christmas and a spooky Christmas or just one or the other? And if you do a traditional Christmas, why? Is it because it's nostalgic? Is it because that's your favorite? Is it because that's just what you like? Or if you do a spooky Christmas, why? Why do you do that? Is it your favorite? Is it you just don't really like, you know, this kind of a Christmas? Let me know. But let's have a conversation down in the comments about that because I'm very interested to see where my subscribers sit on the traditional or spooky Christmas thing. I actually think I can put a poll in my community tab. So if you look on my page, it's like videos, playlists, and then I think community. Click on that community tab and I'll put a poll there too. And then you guys can see what everybody else that uh, thinks too. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next Christmas video. The next video that's going to be out is most likely going to be my Christmas decorate with me. So don't forget to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out on that one. Bye.